Any questions or anything that anyone would like to I guess ask at this point? Because it's so complex, this whole water thing, it's fascinating. Mm -hmm. um, it'd be good just to find out with everyone that's here now, what type of um, water filters do you have at the moment? What type of system? Do you know? Everyone? Like, you could just go through. Which one have you got? Yeah, just normal filter. Just a, a normal one? Do you know the brand? A little one? We have used from Campos. From Campos. Campos, so it'll be a... Um, An it'll be a, uh, it'll be a uh, maxi one? flow. Which one of Maxi flow combo, which is what it yeah, is. Yeah, which is, yeah. <laughs> After so we leave tonight, you'll know which filter. <laughs> you know which filter you should have. <laughs> but it's good to start off where everyone's at. Mm. Is it the Campos, the Campos um, filter with their own label? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's my one. This one. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have, we have from the most simple one, just mm. the, the sediment filters, the carbon filters, mm -hmm. and then um, the corrosion protection filters as well, mm -hmm. and then the magnesium softeners and the reverse osmosis with remineralization. So we have a very, very diverse and broad range of products. So this is the, you see like this one, but with the Campos, Campos yeah. label. Yes, label. <coughs> um, Campos is big enough to put their own label. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that was a pretty easy negotiation. <laughs> um, so we have a very diverse um, and, and large range of different solutions that we offer. Mm -hmm. Everything from the most simple one, the most cost effective, right through to the most extreme, which is reverse osmosis with remineralization, which gives beautiful coffee uh, machine health and fantastic coffee flavor. Just with that, when you say you start from the basic to that, you don't have to go to the top level with everyone. A lot of it depends on very much the machine that they're using and the type of boilers they've got. Absolutely. And also, is it, do you want to just clarify sure. a little? So, oh, sorry, do you want to find out what everyone else is at? first yeah. and then yeah, yeah. clarify sort of like for a certain type of machine with certain type of boilers yeah. the type of filters maybe they should be considering so um so let's just run through the room really quickly we we'll do a little like a primary school <laughs> <laughs> um so uh, i was going to say how many kilos a week do you do and what machine do you use but that's kind of like asking a girl what how much they weigh so <laughs> so what i'll say what i'll ask you is that, um, so if you just tell me uh, where your location is and what machine you use. Uh, we are living in Jar in Rhodes and using Farmer Doctor. So okay. that's the location we're here. And what machine issues have you experienced before? Uh, just the filter, uh, the pressure, the water pressure is just not constant. Okay. And always, you know, sometimes the flow is too tiny or like, yeah, yeah. we need to fix all the time. And do you think, is that a, a machine issue or a site issue? It should be like because um, last time we went for the survey, it's a little bit late, so yep. I think this English. stuff is already happening. So, okay. Yeah. Eh. Okay, service late. <laughs> Change filters on time. Thank you. Say? We used, used to. to. <laughs> used, uh, yeah. to. <laughs> used to. But now um, I work at Naked Dark. Oh, okay. Uh, Naked Dark in Hyde Park. And then also okay. Mascot. Oh, yep. Yeah. Article Dark. Oh, yeah. And what was the types of machine do you use? Oh, uh, spirit collector. Okay. Uh huh. And cool. Lombardi Chocolinia. And um, has the machine stopped or had water quality issues? Mm, not so far that I know. Okay, you're awesome. You're really lucky. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Same like David. Same, okay, great. I'm here for educational purposes. I'm just yeah. one of them. Next in the book so I want to learn a little bit more about okay. this. So. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. Awesome. Yeah. Good bones. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I use uh, Everpure. Ever oh, yeah. Is it all? Why use Everpure when you can use oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. After tonight. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, it's a way go to Sonoma. And then so I'll say there's the door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everyone. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. Wade is a really interesting little beast because they've got copper boilers yeah. and they are workhorses. Yeah. There are actually um, different types of accounts out there that use different types of machines, and waiters still seem to be the you know the workhorse mm. apart from Dolima. Yeah, and yeah. that's my yeah. copy joke for the night. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I've got a waiting machine as well. I've got no idea what we're using as filtration system. <coughs> really, and the only issues we have pretty much is just lacking a little bit of pressure here and there. Right. But okay. I do have a question for you. I've spent the last three, four years in England where pretty much everybody there has reverse osmosis filtration for their coffee. Yeah. 
Yes, so I pretty much standardized my flavoring on completely flav completely filtered water. Yep. What completely stripped water. Yeah. What, what, what's the main difference? Or how would you describe the difference between what I had then and what I started off on as completely reverse and then coming here to then adding the minerals that you described to getting more flavor out of the coffee? Um, that's 95% reduction. So, um, whatever the incoming water is, if you've got 100 parts per million of TDS, you get, should end up with about 5 parts per million. That's with the reverse. Yeah. With an RO system. Yeah. So if you if you um, if you start off with five hundred parts per million of TDS, you're gonna end up with hundred ninety five percent reduction. Yep. Twenty five. Twenty five. Thank you. Maths. I'm going to say that. Hang on a second. Where's your math? Now give him a calculator. He's, 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 he's doing mechanical, like... mechanical, electrical. <laughs> we'll erase that from the so, video, don't worry. <laughs> so, so when we talk about um, the mineral content of the water, we can talk um, about the mineral content of the water before the RO or after the RO. So if you have a look at these two scenarios, you're both putting the water through a reverse osmosis system and you're stripping roughly 95% of the minerals out. So if you use an RO system in Sydney, the water's gonna be five parts per million. That's almost pure water. Some um, uh, electrical probes have problems. Um, water in Sydney or hard water? No, that's Sydney. Yeah, Sydney what, what, would you, what would you consider the local water here? Would be hard water or soft water? Oh no, soft water. Soft water yeah, okay. soft, yeah, definitely soft. Um, Canberra's kind of 70, Wollongong's 40, Sydney's 100, 120, um, <laughs> and the outskirts, uh, Melbourne's 40, really low. Um, the outskirts, the rural areas are anywhere from 150 up to 250, depending on the water source, and it all varies. So, um, um, so this is a little company that everyone I'm sure is aware of, and their TDS, uh, went from 80 um, up to 100 and then down to 60 and then back up to 90 um, in two weeks. And Sasha was pulling his hair out because the coffee profile was changing because the inlet water coming in was constantly changing as well. You can't keep up with it. So if you strip 95%, any of these, 95%, 95%, you're gonna end up with a very, very similar base level, and then you remineralize from there. So in the UK, let's say for example, and Perth's very similar as well, in some areas of Queensland, if you start off with a really high um, TDS, um, total dissolved um, solids or total dissolved salts in the water, and then strip 95% out, you might actually have enough mineral content left in the water after that process to get a really good extraction of coffee. Mm. Um, so you won't need re remineralization. But in, um, in Sydney and a lot of areas where the water is like pretty much less than 500, you really need to consider remineralization. So <clears throat> when you look at remineralization, uh, if you look at the coffee side of things, I'm told the ideal window is 80 to 120 parts per million of total dissolved salts. Okay, that's a really general kind of figure, a very really general window, but no one knows what mineral content either of those makes up. Like how much is magnesium? How much is lime scale? How much is, well, who knows what's in there? So the, the, the really the only way you can work it out is to strip all, all the minerals or 95% of the minerals out of the water so your machine's really healthy and you're stripping all the minerals out so that you've got a really low base, base rate and then you remin, um, you remin with um, magnesium. So then you go magnesium and then machine. Um, so you go coffee machine. So really, this is, that's ideal. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, that's a solution, boys. <laughs> that's my technical presentation. <laughs> so what you're doing is, you might only end up with, and I know there's um, roasters in uh, northern suburbs around here, 
um, Castle Ray, um, Chatswood, all the way up further, they're going down to five parts per million and they're only getting, you know, between 20 and 25 parts per million of TDS before it goes into the coffee machine. But those minerals right there are magnesium carbonate. And BWT is a company that is completely global. In Europe, they eclipse Britta. They've got like 2,000 staff. They've got 150 staff just in research and development. And I'm proud to say, <laughs> so like a preacher, that I'm actually um, going to um, their manufacturing facility in Sweden, um, Switzerland, Italy, and Germany uh, next month for 10 days and doing technical training on all of their different um, facilities and their different products. But these guys spend millions and millions and millions of dollars on researching what product is ideal for a specific industry. And this, um, the uh, remineralization cartridge was developed specifically for the coffee industry. Just the coffee industry. They've gone, okay, magnesium carbonate's the best for coffee, but all the other customers in the world want remineralization for conductivity. So let's use this blend for everyone, and then everyone's happy. So it seems to be working really well for the coffee industry in New South Wales, Queensland, WA, South Australia, everywhere. So it's offering, it's offering um, a really, really nice level of machine protection, and it's offering a really, really nice level of um, remineralization and, uh, and mineral content for coffee extraction as well. So that's only bringing in magnesium at this point. Magnesium carbonate. Carbonate. For that. <coughs> yep. Um, do can you add something else to it if you wanted to experiment? Yeah. Are people doing that at the moment? Are they adding other things? Uh, I'm, 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 I'm out there now. So yes, there is. Yes, there is. There there are companies out there that make a very concentrated blend of herbs and spices that only they know what is in it and they use um, a system called a dosatron to mix the concentrate with the water from the RO to blend the water all together and then go into the coffee machine oh, wow. and so you need to add you need to buy the herbs and spices off them in a in a concentrate and then and then water it down and then put it in a blending tank to be mixed by the dosatron into the coffee machine. Wow. So that's one way. The other way is to spend $10,000 and get a pool um, <laughs> automated machine. So you've got, you get little containers of concentrates of different types of minerals. You put little hoses in each of them and the computer has got a blending tank and it continually monitors the level of different types of minerals in there and then doses them as a pro seen appropriate so the coffee machine can suck it out. No one's done that. But when, I'm that's right. when do I get one? <laughs> <laughs> but obviously what you're talking about there is something that's really still early stage R&D and eventually they'll work out ways to uh, automate it, yeah. bring it, make it more efficient and it'll come in then into one of these things that's and you'll exactly probably be able to buy <clears throat> little things that just attach to the side of it yep. and so on. So at the end of the day, we're looking for a $10,000 solution in a, in a $1,500, $1,600 package, yeah. retail package. And that's the hard part. So we've got the reverse osmosis down pat, both in its most simple form and a computerized form. And we've got the best remineralization for coffee industry available to us now as well. Um, and BWT, uh, next week, are making a, um, a product release with this one so that it apparently satisfies the coffee industry even better again. And I'm sorry, I'm completely unaware of what it is because I'm going to Germany in three weeks. <laughs> well, hopefully they'll tell me then. <laughs> Once you install this, does it just give out the 20 to 25 parts per million as a standard amount? Every, after every reverse osmosis, or can you actually change yes. that? Um, it's, you're doing it's, shots a, to them. it's a constant. It's, it's a, a constant. constant. There's no tap that you can change and add a bit more magnesium. Take a bit more. Add a bit some more. people, some people say you can blend water. So, um, um, so let's just say you've got water coming in. Um, you've got an, you've got an RO unit here. 
and you've got uh, a ream in, ream in there, and then um, a blending tank. Okay. So that'd be a completely different unit if you want to mix more. And then to the turn to the uh, espresso machine. So um, what some people are doing is they are blending a little bit of water from here back to here with a <laughs> with a with a, a, a ball valve yeah. or, or a needle valve of some description. And the testing that I've done so far in the six years that I've been involved in this industry, I cannot get a needle valve to deliver the same um, blending percentage for, through low flow or through high flow. Yeah. It changes. Also, the reason why you're putting the water through an RO is because of the, the, um, the nasties in the water, and you don't know what they are. If there are chlorides in the water, does anyone yeah, know what chlorides are? We don't know. So 50, 50 parts per million, uh, sorry, 50,000 um, parts per million of chlorides is salt water. In Sydney, there's only, there's anywhere between 20 to 30 parts per million in the water, mm. but that's still enough to put pit holes through a boiler. Mm. So the whole idea of a reverse osmosis system is to strip these suckers out of the water so that you know you've got a really, really nice base level and then remineralize the water. So why anyone put your hand up or just scream at me, why would you let any of those mm. nasties bypass the system that you've spent a lot of money on to protect <laughs> your machine, to blend it in, to bring the mineral level up when you've got magnesium carbonate to do it for you? I'm not sure. That was lack of sleep and someone went, I've got a genius idea. I think so. Follow me on this one. But there are, there are machine companies, there are machine companies who say, at a certain level of minerals in the water, you you can blend the water, and from recent discussions, they have withdrawn that recommendation. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm sorry. It's just like I want to go to Melbourne by Perth. Yeah, that's right. It's just like yes. I'm, 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 I'm to stop by. Oh, I'm going by Perth. That's a good description. So, so yes. like, no, 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 that's just the yeah. wrong way to go. Yeah, exactly it's right. Like, but instead of having red eyes, you'll have pit holes in your boiler. Yeah. I'm just, <laughs> it's, it's just like it just defeats the whole purpose of the, the straight line that yeah. what you don't draw on the curve. Yeah, that's true. And that's why um, these guys have been quite unique in their decision and in their process and thinking that we want the best possible health for our machines, longevity. We want someone to invest in this machinery to last a really long time and, and be an integral part of their business and, and be a good revenue um, generating business, uh, profitable section of their business for them, um, but also have the best possible composition of water and best possible shot, you know, uh, the best experience in the cup as possible. And these guys are the first ones that have committed to this whole kit um, as a process for their machines. Um, and it's exceptional. And the first one we put in was right there. It's in that one now. It's, in, it's over there. It's still there. The car's the right. over there, ticking away. <laughs> um, and they do a great job. You know, if you want, if you want really, really good coffee, coffee machine, a lot of good longevity, low maintenance costs, and really, really nice coffee, it's, it's the way to go. Comes down to consistency as well. We believe that using this filtration system is you're starting off with consi consistency before you're starting with your espresso machine. Um, so if we can set up to have, you know, if you, for example, everyone here, uh, you know, six people with six different cafes spread across Australia all using the same machine, your coffee is going to be different from one shop to the other. So by using a system like this, you can be uh, as close as possible to having a consistent product uh, to begin with. So that was one of the biggest factors other than the machine protection. Uh, this is one of the biggest factors why I went with Roger is to make sure that we're protected, the coffee is good and it's consistent. Because you can't have too much protection. No, you can't. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> delete it. You, you can press stop now. Shall we delete it? <laughs> and does everyone, is everyone um, understand the, the whole process and the reason why we do it, that sort of thing? Has anyone got any further questions? Or? Are there any other minerals apart from magnesium that help with the flavour of the coffee? There yes, there are, yes there, there are, yeah. but I have no knowledge of them whatsoever. Is that what's in the secret herbs and spices that they're selling? I believe so. Okay. Yep. But I'm not yep. sure if they're going to do any damage to the machine. Yeah, that's it's exactly it's right. Okay. And mm -hmm. from, one, from one particular machine that I've seen, it, it looked like it had been... You know, Dora the Explorer, she had been making copies underwater with it, and it was wow. growing horribly. Yeah, big time. So, I don't know. I don't know. I'd rather, I'd rather go with something where people are happy to tell me what's in it. So, so <laughs> this one's going to be like refilled? Cause these ones, no, you, um, you, these ones you um, take it out like a normal filter yeah. and chuck them away and put a new one in there. Yeah, so these ones last, um, they last 10,000 litres. So with, um, with most other filters, you can usually give it a time frame, yeah. but with these ones, it's, it's particular litreage throughput because they know how long the mineral content in the cartridge is going to last yeah. and how it's going to add minerals back to the water. Yeah. So um, really, when we look at um, the chlorides, chlorides are a big issue. They're the ones that create corrosion. So if you don't, if you're not... 100% committed to investing all the money that's required for a reverse osmosis system, there really is only one filter cartridge in the world right now that, um, that is capable of doing it. And, then, and this uh, is our second one. choice. Yeah. So if you, if you want to see how you go and, um, and put a filter cartridge in, this is, your this is your best option from a filter cartridge perspective. These filter cartridges um, are softeners, like a Brita and like a Claris and like the Best, uh, Best Max Premium. They take the calcium out of the water to eliminate or minimise scale and calcification. But these ones have also got the unique ability to um, buff the pH of the water higher, so the chlorides don't eat stainless steel. So when you you either got to remove them so they don't eat stainless steel, or you need to make the chlorides more relaxed so they're not inclined to eat the stainless steel. And that's what these do as well. So um, if you buy a machine uh, as minimum, minimum protection, you're going to receive one of these types of products. Um, but if you're thinking about longevity and a healthy machine and minimising your ongoing maintenance costs, then RO is definitely the ultimate answer for sure. And remineralization. Great. Questions? Beautiful. Even if we don't, we can still. You can ask me later. Yeah. I'm, I'm here all night. Yeah.